Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here with Tyler Jolly, who's basically Craig Stevens begged you up to be the hardest puncher pound for pound in Scotland, man. You happy with that title? I'm the hardest man in Scotland. <laughs> Wait, I'm standing right in front of you, mate. I know, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, obviously there's a lot made up of uh, obviously that uh, the press conference three no three knockouts early knockouts as well. Craig Stevens alluded to the fact that you've had you've got the fastest stoppage win in Commonwealth Games history. So there's a lot on made of your power. But I know you as an amateur. I know you can box. Are you hoping for an opponent now and going into your fourth fight that can probably take you into the latter rounds where you can showcase some of that boxing ability that you have? Yeah, well, me and Jason have been speaking about getting that proper step up for this next fight, uh, possible eight rounder. Um, but definitely a step up in opponent, um, and if they can take the power, they can take the power. I'm not, I'm really no just a power puncher, as you know. Um, I'm made of a boxer, to be honest. I want to show my skills. I want to show that um, under under pressure, I can I can box someday. You know what I mean? Uh, so I I would like to show the public everything that I've got. Um, I'll change self ball if they want. No bother. Well, if you can do that, do it. I think you've got to showcase everything. But um, you, you, you said up there as well when the, the Craig came to you, you said to, to Willie, thanks for sticking around so you can get on these big arena shows. But Willie's not going to be there forever. Yeah. Josh Taylor, who knows where he is in his career right now, unless Josh Taylor comes to town, that hydro isn't getting sold out. So we need another Josh Taylor. Maybe not Josh Taylor in terms of fighting style, but we need somebody to take up that Scottish flag, yeah. wave it, and sell out these arenas. You've got yourself, Sean Lazzarini, Jake Lemon, Luke Bibby, Matty McHale. Yeah. You've got all these guys that are turned over from your from your Team Scotland days. Yeah. Can we have a cluster of yours? Can you all four, five, six, eight of yours, however many, can you take over? 100%. Um, as I said, Scottish boxing does not get a fair shake with the boys doing south, like... Sean Lazarini especially, he's got a Commonwealth Games gold medal, I've got a Commonwealth Games bronze medal. There's boys in England winning a national title and getting side by Eddie Hearn and um, Frank Warren and stuff. I don't think that's fair um, and I totally understand for years there wasn't much. Today with Scottish boxing there was, there was kind of Ricky and then there was Josh but there was only two. Now there's Nathaniel Collins, there's me, there's Matty McHale, Lee McGregor, Lee McGregor Jake Lemond. I'll probably miss a few and folk are annoyed, but I'm trying to think. Um, there's hundreds of us, and then in the next couple of years, there'll be Reese Lynch, there'll be Sam Hickey, hopefully, these boys got to the Olympics, but then after that, they'll be turning pro. That's what, 10 names I just said. You could build a massive show in Scotland um, with them names. We've got an arena, we've got this one here that can hold 5,000, we've got the hydro that can hold, I think, what, 12,000, whatever it may yeah. be, but if we have enough big names. You mentioned there uh, Josh Taylor, Ricky Burns. Then it, it was Alex Arthur before that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And before that, it was Scott Harrison. Before yeah. that, what? It was Jim Watt. Then it was Ken Buchanan. Exactly. But we need more guys like yourself. But that being said, we need you to keep winning. We need you to get the fights that you want. We need you to keep producing these big knockouts. So that being said, can we get another knockout on, on, on April 12th? Um, depends on how she ask. <laughs> now, if, please. If the knockout comes, the knockout comes. I'll know I've been... I've been bad for looking for it sometimes, uh, even in amateur days I was bad for chasing after a fight, wanting, wanting a fight to happen, um, but especially in pro boxing, you, timing is key, you need to pick the right shots at the right moment, so uh, if a knockout comes on April 12th then it comes, but uh, a, a dominant victory is guaranteed. Yeah, well, that's music to me is now, the man behind me videoing an Irish boxing legend I'm going to call him a legend I really do probably the nicest one of the nicest men in boxing now Jason Quigley now he's, 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 he's navigating your career he's got yeah. a road map for you now this is obviously your, I think your first fight in 2024 come April yeah, have you got another one lined up yes uh, no so up in 2024 with Jason speaking to you and all that what does the road map look for you obviously with your amateur career it's extensive yeah. eight rounders probably coming up now yeah. so by the end of 2024 what does that road map look like um, by the end of 2024 hopefully just pushing on, pushing on to titles. I'll take a Celtic title fight. I'll take it next. I don't really care. I'll, I'll fight anybody whenever. And the big promoters, they'll come. Like, I'm not chasing them. They can they can come knocking on my door. Um, I'm under the impression if you keep winning, it's got to come. It doesn't matter when. The cream always rises to the top. Mm -hmm. And I fully, fully believe that I am the cream of Scotland. Listen. 
I like that. That that's exactly what that music to my ears because I keep saying it in every interview. I'm a biased jock. I want to see our fighters do well and get to the top. And I was lucky enough to witness Josh Taylor become undisputed out in Vegas, and hopefully I can do the same with you, Sean Lazarini, Luke Bibby, Lee McGregor, Nathaniel Collins, and I'm actually buzzing for it. But on this one, Tyler, I'll see you in April, right? And uh, train hard. Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook. <laughs>